Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. We've been looking at using similar figures to help us find the missing values inside of a figure. Remember, a similar figure is a figure that has the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So we have a small triangle here and a larger triangle here. The problem says the figures in each pair are similar. I'm gonna highlight that word. Find the unknown measures. Well, the ones that we're trying to find are this angle measure inside of the smaller triangle also, the angle measures here in these bottom corners of the larger triangle. And it looks like we also want to find the measure of side XZ. Okay, a bit of information here. Well, the first thing, we can see that both of these figures are similar. It's been given to us in the word problem. And we know that if we were to look at the corresponding angle, so the corresponding angle to angle A here would be an angle on the larger triangle that's in the same spot or same position. Well, the angle that's in the same spot or ang uh, same position is angle Z. So I would say angle A corresponds to angle Z, and since angle Z is 84 degrees, I know that the measure of angle A equals 84 degrees. Not too tough. Okay, let's look at the corresponding angles of these unknown measures below angle X and angle Y. Well, angle X corresponding angle on the smaller triangle is angle C. Angle C is 48 degrees. If we look at angle Y, we can see that also angle Y's measure should be 48 degrees because the corresponding angle is angle B, which measures to be 48 degrees. So I could say that the measure of angle X and, I'm gonna fix that real quick. The measure of angle X and the measure of angle Y equal 48 degrees. Cool, let's go on and look for the length of side XZ. Now, mentally, if we were to just compare the smaller triangle to the larger triangle, I see that side CA and side AB are both three feet in length and the larger triangle is a similar figure. So I should assume rationally that side XZ would be the same length as side YZ. So if side YZ is 12 feet, then the length of side XZ should also be 12 feet. However, let's set up a proportion just to prove it. We're going to think of proportion here for similar figures as small to big. The values for the small triangle will go on top. The values for the large triangle will go on bottom. So I'm going to set up a blank proportion and we'll move forward from there. I'm looking for the length of side XZ. They're saying that the variable is going to be called X since it belongs to the big triangle, I'm going to put the X on bottom in my proportion. And now, let's look at the small triangle. I see that there is a 3 for side CA, and the 3 says, hey, the measure's 3 feet long, so I'm just going to plug a 3 up on top in my proportion. The reason I chose side CA is because it's the corresponding side of side XZ. Great, from here, all I have to do is choose any other side in this triangle. Well, let's go ahead and just take side YZ and plug it into our proportion. So I'm going to put a 12 on bottom because it belongs to the big triangle. The corresponding side to side YZ is side BA. If BA is 3 feet long, I'll put a 3 up top. And now, 
I'm going to take the cross products. I have 3 times x and 3 times 12. So 3x equals 3 times 12. Or 3x equals 36. From here, I just asked myself, how do I isolate the variable? I've got to undo multiplication. I'm going to divide by 3 on this side, divide by 3 on the other side. These 3's will cancel. And I know that x is equal to 36 divided by 3 is 12. So x equals 12 feet. I could plug a 12 here. Don't forget the units. Or I would say side xz is equal to 12 feet. Great, guys. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.